lamb shanks. This is one of my favorite recipes and we've got some excellent morn lamb shanks here. We're going to season some flour again, good Irish flour. We're going to make the sauce with tomato, good quality stock, touch of red wine, juniper and brown sugar. Just enough flour in the dish to coat the outside of your lamb shanks. And you can make up your own blend of spices, but this is the this is the one I like. So we've got a little chili, a little paprika, cumin, turmeric, great for the digestive system, pepper, and salt. And you've got the salt and pepper in your flour mix, so you don't need that on the lamb shanks separately. So, flour mixed. So just roll and press the lamb shanks to get them properly covered in your seasoned flour. And the flour will also help thicken your gravy as it's simmering away in the oven. You can do this on the hob as well if you wanted to, but the oven is where we're doing it today in a heavy casserole dish. And it's going to seal all the flavours in. Okay, oil, hot pan. You use rapeseed oil, super healthy, available in Ireland. Rather than giving all the Mediterraneans the glory. Okay, shanks in. You need to seal them on as many sides as you can. So I start them on the base. It only takes a few seconds if your pan's nice and hot. You can see I'm using a longer pan here with two rings burning. Towards the end of their uh, sealing, we're going to add in some of the herbs, but we'll leave that out for a moment. And remember, you're going to be getting all your caramelized juices stuck to the bottom of the pan. So. A little red wine will help deglaze the pan and get all those nice stocks and flavours. Okay, properly sealed lamb shanks. Transfer them into the casserole dish. Beware of the hot fat. And you want to organise them nicely so that your liquid covers as much as possible. Another lid on, but nevertheless. A few wee juniper berries. Wonderful flavour. Little brown sugar. Brown just adds a, a round, a slightly more complex flavour. And lamb and sugar, lamb and sweet things work really well. Some good quality stock. Maybe a tablespoon per shank. Get lots of juices coming out of the shanks too. A few chopped tomatoes. The half a tin. So a little red wine. Deglaze the pan, get all the sticky caramelized juices off. Put that in, and another wee bit. Perfect. Only thing missing now is our rosemary. You could use thyme, but rosemary's growing well in the garden. Lid on, ready for the oven. Okay, the shanks have had about an hour, so I'm just going to turn them over, make sure they're all in the juice, and see how they get on. Mmm. Turn them over, make sure they all get some of that lovely wine and juice and herbs. And they're starting to get lovely and tender, and if you could smell them, you'd be hungry. 